Hello! Time for more fun and games. Today, we're going to make a grass head. It's kind of like having a chia pet. We're going to reuse a bottle. You'll need some scissors. We're going to reuse a bottle cap. It could be any color, any size. Need some eyeballs, or you could draw some eyes on a piece of paper and stick them on, and it would be the same thing. And then some glue. I'm going to use glue dots because they're not very messy, and I need to do it fast. So the first thing we need to do is take off the lid and cut into the bottle about halfway down. Make a snip with your scissors. Go way back in the scissors and get a good snip. Then you can stick your scissors inside that hole, cut all the way around. These are pretty easy to cut, but you need big scissors. All right, so we've got that. Save this, because we're gonna use it for another game later on. So we have this part. We wanna add a face. So add some eyes, add a nose, add whatever you want. You could put a um, mouth on it, you could do jewelry. I'm not gonna do a mouth today. So if you've ever worked with glue dots before, they are super easy. You just pull off the backing, there's the glue right on it. Stick it on all the eyeballs and peel it off. And stick it on here. Do this with the eyes, both the eyes and the nose. If you've got uh, Elmer's liquid glue or a glue gun, those would work perfectly fine as well. You need it to be glue and not tape this time because there's a possibility that this is going to get damp when you water your grass head and we don't want it to just fall off. The glue dots don't like the milk jug cap for some reason, so I kind of have to work with it a little bit. All right, stick that guy on there. Then we're going to need some soil. It could be a potting mix or it could even be a soil from outside. For this, um, since we're growing grass, we can use any kind of, any kind of soil. So we're going into the potting soil and the big difference between potting soil and outside soil is that potting soil doesn't have any kind of uh, life and it doesn't have any decomposers or any other kind of life that's been kind of sterilized. So I've got some grass. Now I cheated and I went outside and cut a clump of grass that was where it didn't belong and added it. You can do that if you want to. This will start to take root and really go crazy. But you can tell um, grass grows very quickly, very efficiently, and you're gonna get lots of hair. Now I can do all kinds of crazy things with this. I can put it in a ponytail, I can give it a flat top, but I kinda like mine just bushy and crazy like that. All right, now if you don't wanna go outside and get grass, you can always just plant grass seed. And grass seeds are tiny. They're teeny tiny. Okay, I don't know if you how well you can see that, but they are just really small. Okay, we don't need very many of them, and they do not have to be buried to grow. When a grass plant seeds itself, the seeds are on top of the plant and it blows in the wind, and it just seeds itself all over the top of the ground, which is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna sprinkle this like we're making cookies and we're sprinkling sprinkles on top. Just like that. Then you're going to uh, go to the faucet, turn on a small stream of water and hold it under the faucet for, I don't know, two or three seconds. One, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, three, Mississippi. You get the point. You're gonna wanna water this probably about once a week. Use your indicator, your finger, Stick it on top of the soil. If it feels moist like a wrung out sponge, that's perfect. If it feels a little dry, add a little bit of water. And if it's too wet, don't add anything. Maybe take it outside and let it dry out a little bit. But this will 
grow probably within a couple of weeks, not long at all, and you'll start to get hair growing out of it, which is really, really fun. More like a chia pet than just going out and getting your grass like this. Have fun with it. This can be your very own homemade, reused chia pet. Thanks for watching.